What's going on? It just happened. Oh, is the red wedding happening? Yeah, it just happened. It's happening right now. <laughs> She just said okay. <laughs> we, we actually okay. So we didn't actually give context for this, but before we recorded, Sweeney was like, "Yeah, she, uh, Lily's watching the Red Wedding for the first time ever right now in the other room." So I assume it's occurring right now. Yeah, right now it's occurring. I'm gonna go out there and be like, "How was it?" She's gonna be like, "Mi amo, mi mi corazón y duele." And I'm like, "Yeah." You know what's crazy? That's probably that's probably a big reason why I didn't watch Game of Thrones either, because like everybody was talking about the Red Wedding. Yeah. To the point where like I just knew what happened. Yeah, 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 everyone knows about it's it. It's still entertaining, okay, though. Well. It's still entertaining, brother. I'm, I, I promise you. You know what's crazy? Even knowing yeah. it is still spoiler. Spoiler for the books. In the books, ah, Rob the yeah, Rob knows he did fuck shit, so he doesn't let his wife go to the wedding. I mean, so that's what I would stays, do, huh? That's what anyone smart would do. I'm just saying, that's what I would do. do. I'd be like, okay, but, if I'm gonna cross this nigga, I'm gonna fucking stay far away from this motherfucker now. So he didn't let the wife go. So right now, an Essos. There is little Ned Stark, the only other, the only other trueborn Stark, and the wife. Over across the sea, mm. it's hilarious. Nice. I don't know if George, I don't, I don't know I don't know if George that remembers that. I don't even know if George R. R. Martin remembers that line. <laughs> Probably not. So long Probably ago. not, dude. That book came George out. George R. R. Martin dude, I think he's on his deathbed, bro. I, that shit. That next book. He's ain't on his out. deathbed. He's like he's moving around. We're just that like I don't know. I he has it's too much hype for that last last two books, man. He got too much so money, bro. Him, got too it's much me. Money. I'm I'm gonna go make Elden Ring. Ha ha ha. Yeah, he was over ten years ago. He's doing everything but that. It's crazy. He's doing everything but the book. I bet I bet he's gonna do like a. He's gonna like host like the next uh, American Idol or fucking whatever. He's just gonna he's just gonna start doing all I'm this shit. I'm George R R Martin, and this is Pip My Ride. <laughs> yes, 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 dude. He's just, it, he just has a medieval themed Pip My Ride where he's like, <laughs> we we got rid of your fucking car and turn. We just it's just he replaces people's cars with horses. With horses. That's the whole <laughs> Yo, just what's like, up, dog? Me and George R. R. Martin got you a nice fucking Mustang. What do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me a new it. fucking Mustang? No, yeah, no, a, a literal it's a Mustang. Fucking, it's, it's a horse. Yeah. It's a wild tool and it will kick you. <laughs> it's a wild horse. We just found this, like, on the border of Mexico. It's fucking... <laughs> What's the next name, dude? And they just let it loose in his house. <laughs> they, just, <laughs> they just let a wild fucking stallion loose in some guy's house. Kicking shit. Just kicking like, holes go in the inside walls, and check out, check out your fucking horse. Check out your ride. Move bro. that bus. And that was bus. season one. And that was, yeah, move that bus. It's like Ty Pennington. <laughs> he fucking, he, so, so the first season, the first season of, of uh, uh, George R. R. Martin's Pit My Ride, they just yeah. left the, they just didn't know anything, right? Like they just let this horse loose. Season two, they understand. So they, <laughs> they just drug the horse. <laughs> And just like so, it's just a sleeping fucking Xanax up horse in the middle of your fucking living room. It's like check it out, man. Check out your new fucking ride. Yeah, they just hand you like a saddle. <laughs> and some they fucking, saddle it's got a Bluetooth like, speaker. <laughs> it's what? got a Bluetooth speaker dangling from its neck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dog? It's just funny. I just love like I love the idea of him and exhibit like partnering together. What would they yeah. talk about? Did, did, I can't imagine Exhibit and George R. R. Martin having a conversation, dude. <laughs> he he would be like, uh, I I like uh, I don't know what George R. R. Martin sounds like, but uh, he'd be like, I like what you did with uh, Within Temptations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would like, he would say that. He would say that. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Thanks, dog. I'm, I'm Thanks, so dog. I was so busy pimping people's rides and fucking people over that I I forgot to read your stupid shitty fruity little book. <laughs> Dude, did you do you know anything about like the Pimp My Ride, like the, the like the stories? I know I I watch that show religiously and and do all you the know ins about and outs. like what happens after? Yeah, you gotta pay those taxes, brother. Dude, it's not even they pay those taxes; they just rip the shit out of the car. Oh, so oh, they didn't even they give what? it to them like, at all. Dude, if if dude, it, so basically how it works is and and exhibit really had nothing to do with the show at all. He he was literally just like, he just was the just the spokes guy. I don't even think he ever went to any of those fucking sessions at all. He just like recorded himself on like a vacant lot being like, hey, yo, it's me, Exhibit. Uh, uh, I'm going to pimp this ride. And then other people pimp the ride. But like, it was just like, they would take cars and they would put like aquariums and like Playstations and like fucking flat screen plasmas. And then they would record the episode and then they would be like, all right, and then they would take the PlayStations out. They would take the aquariums out, 
And so you're just left with a fucked car with a with a new paint job that has like more miles on it. <laughs> it's fucking it's insane. That is so funny. Oh I didn't God, I actually didn't know that. They would steal it all back. <laughs> I didn't know Dude, that at all. Look, so funny. If you look back at that show and just look at the practicality of those it it makes per like why the fuck would you want this? Like all of those cars were dumb as shit. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, was no. like here's a here's a, here's a, here's a uh, a fucking uh, petting zoo yeah. in the back of in the it's like, it's hey, like dog. what I know it's your birthday dog so we ripped out your engine and we put a cake in it <laughs> here you go <laughs> we put a mini fridge where the where the tires should be and it's like what <laughs> it's just, the car's like. <laughs> <laughs> We had to put a V12 engine so it could get going, you know? <laughs> like, it's kind of hard to turn. Just read the next one, please. I'm going to throw up. Please, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> we replace the steering wheel. We replace all the brakes and steering wheels with with violin strings that you have Lettuce. to pluck in a specific order to, to do certain functions. <laughs> You gotta press it, the, get do the E chord yeah, to, gotta, to you pull gotta the play, brakes. You uh, gotta play Vivaldi <laughs> to get it to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's move on. Oh this will be the clip from this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> George R. R. Martin's pimp my ride. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Oh, shit, I'm a little out All of right. frame. Fuck. All right, let's go. Uh, fucking. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 